Dear students, today we shall take few more examples of ordinary differential equations which can be solved using Laplace transforms. Let's take first example. Solve t plus 1 whole square y is equal to t. Given that y is equal to minus 3 when t is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1 when t is equal to 1. Now this equation can be written as d square plus 2d plus 1 y is equal to t. That means y double dash plus 2y dash plus y is equal to t. Now take Laplace transform on both sides. We have L of y double dash plus 2 times L of y dash plus L of y is equal to L of t. Applying the formula L of y double dash is p square into y bar minus p into y at 0 minus y dash at 0 plus 2 times L of y dash is p into y bar minus y at 0 and then plus L of y is y bar. Now Laplace transform of t is 1 upon p square where y bar is equal to L of y. Now put the values. y at 0 is minus 3 and uh, y at 0 is minus 3. Okay. So we have p square y bar. This is plus 3p. Now because we don't know the value of y dash at 0, we take it as a plus 2p into y bar plus 6 plus y bar is equal to 1 upon p square. Which can be written as p square plus 2p plus 1 into y bar is equal to 1 upon p square minus 3p minus 6 plus a. That means p plus 1 whole square y bar is equal to 1 upon p square minus 3p minus 6 plus a. So therefore y bar is equal to 1 upon p square into p plus 1 whole square minus 3p plus 6 upon p plus 1 whole square plus a upon p plus 1 whole square. Now this term can be written as minus 3 times p plus 1 plus 3 upon p plus 1 whole square. Now break this into partial fractions. So we have minus 2 upon p plus 1 upon p square plus 2 upon p plus 1 plus 1 upon p plus 1 whole square. This term can be written as minus 3 upon p plus 1 minus 3 upon p plus 1 whole square and then plus a upon p plus 1 whole square. Combining the, combining the like terms, we have where the denominator is same. This is equal to minus 2 upon p plus 1 upon p square. Combine this and this, we have minus 1 upon p plus 1. And then combining these three terms, we have a minus 2 upon p plus 1 whole square. Now taking inverse Laplace transform on both sides. So we have y is equal to minus 2 times L inverse of 1 upon p plus L inverse of 1 upon p square minus L inverse of 1 upon p plus 1 plus A minus 2 L inverse of 1 upon p plus 1 whole square. And now make use of the formula. formula. So we have this is equal to minus 2 into 1 plus t minus e to the power minus t plus a minus 2 and this can be written as e to the power minus t into l inverse of 1 upon p square which is a minus 2 into t e to the power minus t. Now to find the value of a we make use of the second condition which is given that when t is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1. So put t is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1 in this equation. We have minus 1 is equal to minus 2 plus 1 minus e to the power minus 1 plus a minus 2 e to the power minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1 would get cancelled. So we have a minus 3 upon e is equal to 0. That means a is equal to 3. So put the value of a is equal to 3 in equation number 1. We have a solution as y is equal to minus 2 plus t minus e to the power minus t plus t into e to the power minus t.
next example. Solve d square minus 1 y is equal to a into cos hyperbolic nt. If y is equal to dy is equal to 0, when t is equal to 0. So, this equation can be written as y double dash minus y is equal to a into cos hyperbolic n t. Take Laplace or sum on both sides. So L of y double dash minus L of y is equal to a times L of cos hyperbolic n t. Then again use the formula. So, we have p square into L of y minus p into y is 0 minus y dash 0 minus L of y is equal to a times p upon p square minus n square. Now y at 0 is 0 and y dash at 0 is also 0. So we have p square minus 1 into y bar is equal to a p upon p square minus n square it is square where y bar is equal to y. So therefore y bar is a p upon p square minus 1 into p square minus n square. Now this term can be written as a p upon n square minus 1 multiplied by p square minus 1 minus p square minus n square upon p square minus 1 into p square minus n square. Okay, what we have done is we are divided by n square minus 1 and in the numerator we are multiplying by n square minus 1. It's like finding out the partial fractions. Okay, so therefore we have y bar is equal to a p upon n square minus 1 into 1 upon p square minus n square minus 1 upon p square minus 1. So taking inverse Laplace transform on both sides, we have y is equal to a upon n square minus 1 into l inverse of p upon p square minus n square minus l inverse of p upon p square minus 1 square. So therefore y is equal to a upon n square minus 1 multiplied by cos hyperbolic nt minus cos hyperbolic of t. Let's take third example. Solve d square plus 6d plus 9y is equal to sine of t. When y at 0 is 1 and y dash at 0 is 0. Now this equation as earlier can be written as y double dash plus 6y dash plus 9 y is equal to sine of t. Take Laplace transform on both sides L of y double dash plus 6 times L of y dash plus 9 L of y is equal to L of sine t. L of y double dash is p square into L of y minus p into y at 0 minus y dash at 0 plus 6 times p into l of y minus y at 0 plus 9 l of y is equal to 1 upon p square plus 1. Now y at 0 is given to be 1 and y dash at 0 is 0. So we have p square l of y minus p plus 6 p l of y minus 6 plus 9 L of y is equal to 1 upon p square plus 1, which can be written as p square plus 6 p plus 9 into y bar is equal to p plus 6 plus 1 upon p square plus 1, where y bar is equal to L of y. So therefore dividing by this term, we have y bar is equal to p plus 6 divided by this, which can be written as p plus e whole square plus 1 upon p plus 3 whole square into p square plus 1. Now break these two terms into partial fractions. So we shall have this is, this term will be 1 upon p plus 3 plus 3 upon p plus 3 whole square. And if we break this into partial fractions, we shall have 3 upon 50 into p plus 3 plus 1 upon 10 into p plus 3 whole square minus 3p minus 4 upon 50 into p square plus 1 which can be written as 
1 upon 50 into 53 upon p plus 3 plus 150 pi upon p plus 3 whole square minus 3p upon p square plus 1 plus 4 upon p square plus 1. Taking inverse Laplace of from both sides, we have y is equal to 1 upon 50 into 53 L inverse of 1 upon p plus 3 plus 155 times L inverse of 1 upon p plus 3 whole square minus 3 times L inverse of p upon p square plus 1 plus 4 L inverse of 1 upon p square plus 1. Now apply the formula. We have 1 upon 50, 53 e to the power minus 3 d plus 155 e to the power minus 3 d into L inverse of 1 upon p square minus 3 cos t plus 4 sin t which is equal to 1 upon 50, 53 plus 155 t e to the power minus 3 t minus 3 cos t minus 4 sin t. Next algebra. Solve d square minus 4d plus 5 y is equal to 125 d square y is equal to 0 is equal to dy when t is equal to 0. So this equation can be written as y double dash minus 4y dash plus 5y is equal to 125 t square. Taking Laplace transform on both sides L of y double dash minus 4 times L of y dash plus 5 times L of y is equal to 125 times L of t square. Now this is p square L of y minus p into y at 0 minus y dash at 0 minus 4 times p into L of y minus y at 0 plus 5 times L of y is equal to 125 times factorial 2 upon p cube. Now y0 is 0, y dash 0 is also 0. So we have p square minus 4p plus 5 into y bar is equal to 250 upon p cube, where y bar is L of y. So therefore y bar is 250 divided by p cube into p square minus 4p plus 5. Now break in partial fractions, we shall have 50 upon p cube plus 40 upon p square plus 22 upon p plus 2 times 24 minus 11 p upon p square minus 4 p plus 5 which can be written as 50 upon p cube plus 40 upon p square plus 22 upon p plus this sum can be written as 2 times 2 minus 11 times p minus 2 divided by p minus 2 whole square plus 1 so therefore taking inverse Laplace transform on both sides we have y is equal to 50 into t square upon factorial 2 plus 40 into t upon factorial 1 plus 22 into 1 plus 2e to the power 2t l inverse of 2 minus 11p upon p square plus 1 which is equal to 25t square plus 40t plus 22 plus twice e to the power 2t multiplied by 2 sin t minus 11 cos t. Let's take class so example. Solve y double dash minus 4y dash plus 3y is equal to f of t. In this case, we have right hand side is the terms of f of t. y0 is 1, y dash 0 is 0. So take Laplace or so l of y double dash minus 4 into l of y dash plus 3 l of y is to l of t. Apply the formula p square l of y minus p into y is 0 minus y dash 0 minus 4 times p into l of y minus y at 0 plus 3 times l of y is equal to f of where f of is l of ft. Now put y at 0 1 y dash 0 as 0. So we have p square minus 4 p plus 3 into y bar is equal to minus p minus 4 is equal to f of p. So therefore y bar is equal to p minus 4 upon p square minus 4 p plus 3 plus f of p upon p square minus 4p plus 3. Factorize the denominator, we have p minus 4 upon p minus 1 into p minus 3 plus f of p upon p minus 1 into p minus 3. Now break these in partial fractions. So we have 3 upon 2 into p minus 1 minus 1 upon 2 into p minus 3. And 1 upon 2, 1 upon p minus 3 minus 1 upon p minus 1 into f of p. 
So therefore, taking inverse Laplace sum, y is equal to three upon two L inverse of one upon three minus one minus one upon two L inverse of one upon three minus three plus one upon two L inverse of one upon three minus three minus one upon three minus one into f of now L inverse of one upon three minus one is due to the power t and likewise e to the power three t. So we have three upon two e to the power t minus half e to the power three t plus half e to the power three t minus e to the power t star f of t. This is using convolution theorem. So therefore this is three upon two e to the power t minus e half e to the power three t plus one upon two times. 0 to t e to the power 3 u minus e to the power u into f of t minus u t. Thank you so much.